Kribo's effect failure. Kribo is effect failure. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I am Jake. Tonight I am joined by Brad. And Ben from Nolan TCG. This isn't the second time I'm saying hello. No. Because the second time he just stared at me and like, why do you talk so fast? Stared right into his eyes. Now we talk very slow. <laughs> oh, fuck so off. Slow. Anyway, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with Brag, Because it will be brief. Yeah, that's who I was there waiting he goes. for. There he is. <laughs> um, my week. Uh, oh god, I'm so bad at Master Jewels. Well, yeah, I'm pretty bad. How can you be bad? It literally prompts you as to what to do. Oh, he used solemn judgment in his own skill drain. <laughs> yeah, there's sometimes I bash buttons and click absently or hit no when that was the correct prompt. There's times where I walk out on the balcony to watch people walking by yelling at each other and come back to surrendered. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't think I was going that long. There's eight mm. minutes. It can't possibly be eight minute long. Try, domestic. try just started comboing. I thought I had time. I didn't I check didn't... to see if they had full combo. Yeah, I might have. have fucked it. They must have. Uh, yeah, so I was one win off plat one. And then I haven't like I lost that one. That last that walking out and surrendering was was what cost me. I'm like, huh? Oh. Mint. Yeah. Uh, in the actual card game, I received my brave cards today. Woo! Woo. Adventurer. Adventurer. I said brave all night long. I didn't say fucking adventurer at once. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Good call. Good call. Actually, that's the, a question. The I'm only talking. time I said adventurer is when I was searching for Wandering Riven Rider. So I was like, I will add a card that says adventurer token on it. Yeah. Can't lie. Can't lie. I can't say brave token. So yeah, finally receiving that two days after regionals. That was fun. Uh, got to crack pet cases, I guess. Got to crack cases if you really want those cards on time. But you got to get the cases. That's an issue. Yeah, you said it. Yeah. Uh, and then yeah, so build that build. I'm really keen for next Tuesday's locals. Cause that's right. Yeah, I didn't get to go to my other. Yeah. Who would have thought? Feels bad. But that's exciting. Uh, ben, how was your week? Mediocre. My brave did not arrive, so I borrowed Brags. It was nice enough. Oh, you legit me... borrowed Brags. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brag was like, "Do you want to borrow mine?" I was like, "Sure." Uh, it was like. Not as good as I was hoping. Like, the Brave Engine itself, great. The build of PK that I've put around it, not happy with, like, in the slightest. Yeah. Like, it's still the same deck at its heart, but the fact that I've, like, gutted out the extenders in order to be able to play interaction as well as the Brave package has effectively rendered, like, my... The way I like to play the deck null. Yeah. I need to now relearn the way I play that deck. And, like... Play all the psychic extenders, including yeah. Doctor Frankenderp. Yeah, I. Yeah, well, I might put him back in. I guess. Legit, like it's a dark psychic extender because that's your biggest problem. Like you level threes, you've got tons of those. But yeah. when it comes to the dark one to get to the link three, especially if you're not playing the um, full Cherubini line. Yeah. Frankenderp's the answer. I played the full Cherubini line tonight. I am probably going to cut it to switch to the psychic line. Yeah, the psychics. Like. It's it's fine, it gives you that extra piece, but I just wasn't fully seeing the way that I need to be playing the deck, and it didn't occur to me until like the end of the night, but I bricked like quite a lot tonight. Yeah. And it well, wasn't drew, bricking sir, which is my yeah. which is my regionals problem. Yeah, I drew Seer like game one and uh, match yeah, game one and game three of round one and I was like, This sucks. Uh then drew Graph a couple times as well. But those times I was like, I can this I can do half of the combo then do brave stuff then mid brave stuff discard the graph to then like keep me going so i was like cool at least that worked but yeah outside of that it was pretty mediocre my week in Yu Gi Oh. um i'm assuming i'm assuming you're done i'm done yeah uh so my week um so in reference to master duel i've pretty much hit the ceiling of what the terrible decks i'm playing can do which is like on the cusp of plat four pretty much 
Like I'm, I'll win away from getting to plat four, and I just keep losing that one match, and then winning, and then losing. <laughs> like there's only so much that pure mech knight can do, especially when that it only has one gisu. Oh, okay. The gisu is at one. Why so, is gisu at one in the OCG? All the all the Surely good all the good or, all the good orcas cards are. Because I don't Gisu, remember... Gisu, Galatea, and Harp all at once. When Gisu released over there, I don't remember it being, like, insanely busted. Neither do I, but apparently it was. Like, I remember Gisu getting announced at YCS Sydney, and Jake was like, this is gonna be fucking insane. The next day so they banned Harp Aura. <laughs> I was so fucking ready for, like, an an actual Mech Knight invoked combo where, like, I literally just do Mech Knight things, then do invoked... Um, no, sorry. Orcist. Sorry. My brain regressed into its normal thing. Yes, it did. Mech Knight Orcus things, where I pitched the harp, do Mech Knight things, and then do Orcus things after. It was going to be amazing. And then, yeah, like, not long after, it's just like... It was the next day. Yeah, harp is literally gone. They announced it <laughs> the morning of the Sunday of YCS, because we're all talking about it in the morning. And then... I was so upset. The next day, the ban list bans I mean, horror. <laughs> I mean, I was still excited for just Gisu for Mech Knight things at that point, because I think everyone sort of assumed that Orcus was dead at that point. Yeah, and for the most part, they were right. Um, they were very right. Yeah, well, some people soldier on. Um, yeah, but yeah, that's um, that's Master Duel's journey at the moment. Like Mech Knight's done all it can do effectively. Um, so yeah, I need to probably like I'm not going to scrap the deck. I'm definitely going to keep it because um, I just don't see any value in getting rid of those cards. But I need to look into building something more meta. I've got like eighty something percent of uh shadol invoked thingo ready to go i just can't be bothered doing it online because it's like i do it every other day in real <laughs> life it's like like not that i'm not doing mech knights in real life which we'll get to in a second but like it's just like it's not like oh yeah i've got to test this on master duel it's like no i, I really don't <laughs> on the last podcast was i flat one i can't remember I think you said that you had got to plat one with. Well, yeah. Well, you say you do. You well, had I gotten to plat one on the Thursday morning after? Maybe it was pretty. You were either close to or had done it. Oh, I got plat one. Woo. Gym night FTK. Listen Does it reset the channel. today? Yeah, it resets at some point. Yeah, it may have reset while we're recording this. Yes, I can do it again. <laughs> I I'd assume they're going to implement the ban list system. That's what I thought as well. Because, like I said in like, the sure. ban list special that we've got up on the channel, if you haven't watched it already, jump on. Um, but I find it highly unlikely that they release the ban list the same day that there's a six hour update on Master Duel. Like, it's just unlikely that they don't update to a, a ban list system. So I don't pay enough attention to Farfa outside of the stuff he uploads to YouTube. Valid. But I don't know how he knew that the ban list was dropping at 5 p.m. He knew? Yes. Because at 5 p.m. he went to the Twitter page, hit refresh, and the balance was there. Interesting. A conspiracy. Could be. What did you call me? A conspiracy. Um, but yeah, that's Master Duel. Um, back to real life. Um, I'm also playing Mech Knights, but with three Gisu, which makes it a lot better. That it only dawned on me very recently when you do it properly how good Gisu is for that deck. That card is like sets up so oh, much yeah. for the deck on its own for pure mech it does a lot it does so much for pure mech and tonight i found out how much it doesn't do if it gets hard negated like the amount of times that i open two different normal summons because i'm playing um gisu and cap shell oh uh if you aren't familiar with cap shell look it up um it is almost exclusively for mech knights <laughs> effectively but it gives you a free draw and it's a normal summon blah 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 um I had the choice between Gisu and Thingo. The problem was, like, Gisu, as I said, does a lot for the deck. Whereas Capshell is, like, literally just sets up a column and lets you draw a card. And I was like, but the problem is, the Capshell is probably not going to get negated, but the Gisu will. And if the Gisu gets negated, my turn is over. I got real greedy. And I got punished real hard. <laughs> <laughs> Hear me out. Double summon. It's not worth it. Because, like, even if the Gisu gets hard and get it, I double summon some of the cap shell. It still only gets me to, like, not even half of what Gisu gets me. Okay. Because the center grave is, like, the probably the most important part, because you'll actually get to live, which sets the thing to da 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 And then the actual token generation on the other side of the board sets up blue, so you can actually get some advantage of something blue. 
Um, yeah, so that felt real rough, and I didn't open extenders either, like because there are extenders, believe it or not, in that deck. Monster reborn. Yes, for monsters that aren't in the grave yet. Um, okay. I also got super punished for not believing that I would draw well off a DPE because I like had an Ash Blossom in hand and like a couple of spells and traps. And I was like, mm, just in case this doesn't go well. I will set this Ash Blossom and set the other two cards and get the Celestial Draw. Celestial Draw was good, did the thing, but I had a set monster and I couldn't link summon off with it. And that would have got me to another card which would have interrupted the player the next turn. And I was so angry with myself. I was like, I need to believe. I need to believe. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was so angry. Oh, but anyway. And it was against Bird, so like that deck's going to be dead in a week and a half, so I don't care anymore. Um... <laughs> I realised halfway through the tournament tonight that only I was playing new ban list. <laughs> I looked oh! down and like, I was, I was playing your new ban list because I was playing restrictions. I was like, well, I'll play the restrictions. I'll just keep playing the same thing. Yeah. And then, like, I activated a cosmic against Carney, flipped Imperial Order, and I was like, oh, yeah. Because <laughs> I had the duster in my hand, and I was like, well, he, had, he had the heavenly thing revealed, so I was like, well, I can't duster him. Activate cosmic. And he's like, Imperial Order, and I was like, okay. Then he summoned the Lord, and I was like, if I play through this back row, I can pop that Imperial Order, then activate this Duster. And that's what I did. It was fun to watch. Because, yeah. fuck back row decks. Yeah. Mm. I popped an Imperial Order for the last time. Yeah. Oh no, I'm going to Locals on Sunday. <gasps> Probably not the last Another time. Sunday off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? I've been taking a lot off lately. Yeah. That's what we do. This is my regularly regularly scheduled one. Okay. Uh, yeah, so um, there probably will be other Mech Knight variants coming up. I want to borrow someone's Prosperity so that I can do the Mech Knight hand loop. Um, prosperity is because if you don't open Gizu, it's just not possible. Like, you literally cannot do it. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah, that'll be fun. Um, but, obviously, that is all pending on what happens with this ban list and how it affects the meta. So... Um, we went through, obviously, our thoughts on the ban list in the podcast, uh, last week. Um, like I said, check it out. Um, but before that, we also made some predictions, and we're gonna now go through and tally them. So, um, our, um, tally system goes as so. It is, uh, one for getting it correct, uh, half a point for getting it on the list but not in the right spot and minus one for not getting it right or getting it incorrect. Yes. Uh, because of the size of this ban list and how light we thought it would be, we're going to we gonna be in some minus. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so we're going to have to get the ban list up as well. Oh. We really should have tallied this as we went. I thought Brian had already ta tallied this. No, he literally just went through and picked what we Yeah, had. I was about to tally it. I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll be able to tally it when they get here. And then when we sat down here. Did I, I say think. hero lives to two or three? Uh, I believe you said unlimited. Why the fuck did I say hero lives to three? Because yeah. you wanted your ulties to come back? What kind of idiot says that? Roll back the tape. That idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I did. It's kind of out of context, but I thought it's worth. I would. I, I include it in retrospect. Okay. okay. It's a free. It's a free point for you. Well, it's a free point for you because I mean okay. if. You did joke about it. Okay. Because you wanted an ulti. Yes. Well, I'm glad you didn't include my joke then. <laughs> They're worth a lot now, those ultis. Wait, you tell jokes? Occasionally, when I'm drunk. Um, Alright, so we'll go through Ben's. Um, so, Ben had Protoss and Imperial Order being banned. Two Both points. correct. Uh, he had a Good limit one. on... I missed the other two that got banned. So, zero. zero points. <laughs> yeah. Yep, okay. Well, yeah, that, that, this works. We tell it as we go. Um, then we have a limit on Fractal and a limit on Recital Starling. Um, Zero points still. Yes. Now minus... There's plus one, minus one. All yep. the cards that got put to one. Well, you have some unlimits here. You got Red MD, you got Joker, and you got Hero Lives. So Hero Lives is half a point and another two. Yeah. Um, but then minus several others. Yes. Minus seven off just the unlimits alone. <laughs> Probably something like that. Yeah, we really should have done more maths on this before we started this. How many cards? Where's the ban list? I have, I don't have a phone. 
Uh, did I take screenshots of that no, last time? I, I believe I, I well, list. I believe I had the banner screenshot. Yeah, I, I think I saved the images as well. Or maybe I only had the Twitter up during the pod. Yeah, maybe I did too because I just got to some random screenshots. Um, we hiring an R and D guy. You don't get paid anything. You don't get anything in the credits. Oh, I mean, we can offer up a spot in the credits. Oh, we when, could. When we, we could make credits when we get credits. <laughs> Which. I've never been a fan of credits. This this is a statement. There's nothing more to that. Sweet, we get to okay, I've got the pictures. Okay. Alright, so yeah. Um so minus oh well, zero on that. Um mm-hmm. and then we get to the limits you got. So it's we'll go I'm at what, two and a half points. And now I'm about to lose what, one? Okay, so um ignore yeah, the pants. So we already calculated the pants. Yeah. Okay, so we go on to limits. You missed uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Simon, what's that? Minus five and a half. Minus four and a half. Because you're at two and a half. Yep. Minus, minus six. seven. Minus seven. Yeah, so minus five and a half. Yeah. Okay. Plus minus how much more? Um, one, two. Three, four. Minus eleven and a half. One, two, three, four. Minus fifteen and a half. Okay. Minus fifteen and a half. Minus fifteen and a half. Beat that, gentlemen. It's a tall order. God, that especially was with a... some of the fucking shit I threw out here. Okay. Um. So on mine. Um. So Protoss and IO as well. So mm-hmm. at zero. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have a limit on Nerval, which means I didn't get any limits. Which means you go negative I on go the Nerval negative. call. Yeah, so that's effectively minus nine, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Minus eight. Minus eight. Uh, then we go on to the semi limits. I don't think I had any. Oh, s- we need yeah, to find I had a better nothing way to do it. Uh, calculate it before. Which is one, two, three, four, five. It's just a huge minus, list. See what, minus nine? So, so minus 14 now? You shouldn't get the... And then I've got unlimited on Italian Joker, so plus two, uh, and then minus one, two, three, four. Minus 16. Okay, so you beat me by half a point. A point that... Or a half point that I only gave you out of pity. I thought you beat me by a point and a, a joke. half. I a joke. I beat by a point and a half. I was 14 and a half? You were 16? I thought you were 15. Wasn't you 15 and a half? And a half? I don't know. Whatever. What's Bragg's joke? All right, Bragg. Lost. There's no way. Um, I only because I only said Protoss, so I'm immediately a negative. Yeah, so you're a minus three on just the bands. Minus one. Yeah. Minus two. There's there's minus. literally there's literally no one, way. I, minus three. There's no way I can win. Congratulations, Jake. You're the champion. No, Ben is the champion. Ben is Congratulations, the champion. Jake. Based ben is the champion. <laughs> <laughs> Based on pity. Joke. A joke. Run the maths back. Anyway, but yes, um, we should have calculated that before. Um, but the important thing is that Lachlan is no longer the winner. Finally got one out there. It's funny when he stops doing the math. Actually, no, he never did the math. No, he never did the math. But did we also math. changed the scoring system every time. I and, run the numbers! <laughs> and ignore and blatantly lied one time. Yeah, Find the podcast where I lied. Logan never won shit. <laughs> Uh, and then we move on to uh, possible Master Door news. You've put this in here. I didn't send it. What is the news? Oh. Unless this was just in case something came out between the four hours of when we were talking about stuff and now. In Master Door news, Master Door's fun. And there's it a is lot fun. of broken stuff. And I heard some magic players tonight making fun of people going home to play Master Door. Fuck those guys. Yeah, fuck those smelly bitches. Yeah. Um. The, I suppose one bit of news that has changed since the last time we were here is that they have started releasing on mobile. Um, I know Samsung yes. has theirs up going. I don't know whether iOS is up and running yet. Oh, I, I didn't try. I can't get into my app store yet. Um, so yeah, it might be up it's on not. iPhone, so you can play it anytime you like. Don't do that. Yeah, don't play it at home on a PC. Yeah. Where you'll be good at Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. I can only imagine that the interface on phones is not brilliant. Oh, yeah, it's probably complete dog shit. And like, if you're looking at a phone, like, my eyes are shit at the best of times anyway but like if you're on a phone like this you're not gonna be able to see everything anyway um 
yeah, so by all means, have it on your phone for something to do while you're bored, uh, but don't play it all the time on your phone. Use your, phone, use your computer. Um, product stuff. This week we have uh, Battles of Chaos coming out. Um, oh, this is the pre-release. Close enough. Close enough. Well, they, they, we know what's in the set now. We do. Uh, speaking of which, um, so we've got a... Uh, oh, hang on, what's it doing? Oh, just redirect. That's fine. Um, so yeah, we've got all of the rarities, um, or most of the rarities, I should say, announced. So uh, of the Starlights, we know three so far. It's, I think uh, it's been confirmed as to what all of them now. Okay, well, I've only got three on this list, unless it's been it's been updated down here. No. Um, but you might be able to fill the gaps because you've got identity memory. What have you got there? Um, so I've got Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. Yep. Dynamorphia Theresia. Yep. And the Dark Magicians. I believe another one was the Dark Charmer. Yeah, that makes sense. Dark Charmer was confirmed. Mm -hmm. I cannot remember the fourth. Would that be... Well, the fifth. That would be the fifth. Oh, the fifth, mean. yes. Would that be the Dark Magician reprint? Oh, uh, no. You see that... That's separate again? A, that is its own separate thing. Wait, the Dark Magician is there. The Iris that, Sword. That Dark Magician is... I don't even want to discuss this now, Iris I guess. Sword Soul. That's an old one. That's, an That's old a real old That's one. Like two How's that... One. So someone's posted that... Yeah. For sale. Uh... <laughs> Where is it? Um, what was it saying? Where's? Uh, so the Dark Magician, the Dark Magician reprint, uh, looks likely that it will be a, uh, how do you put it, like ten thousand dragon style drop in. Okay. Like the card was ridiculously hard to get in the OCG, so it seems as though they're doing that kind of thing where it'll be a one per two cases. You get the Dark Magician. Probably takes away a Starlight Rest slot. Right. Okay. Yeah. It'd be worth a fucking mint though. Like, yeah. The they, in the OCG they only printed two thousand five hundred. Oh damn. So it was a very short supply. They're like three, four grand. I know why they did it now too. That's funny. Twenty fifth um, anniversary. Two thousand five hundred attack. That was cute. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah. With, um. With the starlight rares. So that um blue eyes jet. Like that got. Not so much leaked. That was in one of the box openings from the content creators. Yes, that's kind of crazy. That's they only give it on, only... A, on occasion. They do crack a starlight in those, and I always question whether like the boxes are mapped as to what they give out. Like that they basically do it so that every card in that set of a high rarity does get on, leaked in some on sort that of way. Subject: Did you see Bortles' box opening for fucking? I have a creators? rebuttal. Who is Bortles? You know the YouTuber that... Tim no. Do you, Yeah, Tim Ball. No idea. Yeah, uh, he does a lot of, like, YCS deep profiles back in the day when you could go to physical... Is he one YCS. of Fafa's mates? No, 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 no. Okay, then yeah, I don't no, know who's talking about. He's just an American dude. Um, he opened a box of green creators and every pack had two star resin. <laughs> oh, I heard murmurs about this at Locals. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. cracked. It's fucking insane. What, how is it... More recently, all the American ones have had really fucky things going on with their prints. Like, there was the, the whole entire secret box that happened in the US that was for I think Brothers was... yes the Mega Tim one was EU because it was never to open those the, no there was a main set that someone was opening I think it was Battles of, no not Battles of Chaos Brothers. Um, well Brothers has secrets and everything anyway yeah but, yeah, yeah but it was secrets all every card was secret no I think it was um, Burst of Destiny someone was getting a secret in every pack yeah. in their box which is fucking busted yeah, especially in that set. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it seems to be the American prints that always have these All run right. issues. In Brothers, there was someone who got an entire secret rare box and didn't pull a single droplets. Oh, that stings. Every card was secret oh, rare and no droplets. That stings so hard. Ooh. <laughs> I wonder if that's like, yeah, Ooh. that would probably tie into the, like, the printing issue that you yeah. have the secret batch of. It was like super low print rate. Oh. <laughs> that's so rough. Um, but moving back to Battles of Chaos, we also have the 10 secret rares. Um, so we have Libromancer Geek Boy, uh, Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, Ice Jade Cosmol Cosmolka. The one you don't want to pull. I mean, that deck does kind, kind of get nutty in this set, I'll be honest. Like, it does some pretty bonkers stuff. Um, Dynamorphia, Theresia, uh, Illusions of Chaos, Guardian Chimera, which I'm, it looks so nice. Uh, Sword Soul, Sinister Sovereign, Queen... Quizzing Long Young. That'll do. Uh, the Zombie Vampire. Wait, Secret? I thought that was an Ultra. 
No, it's a secret. Oh, I'm thinking of Vampire Ghost. My bad. Um, sales ban and Donomorphia Domain. Remember when early at night we were leaving locals and you were like, I don't want to get any Battle of Chaos because there's no generically good cards in it? That's the only one. Sales ban. It's the only one. Well, you also got the, the super poly target and the card you're going to need for the thing. That's, yeah, but that's not like a staple card for everybody. So I'm just going to take the it's ones that people don't want. Card. It's a very good card. It's sales and ban. it's not a super poly target. Sales ban, very good card. It's just prohibition, isn't it? Yeah, but you can activate it. It's not there on the field anymore. They can't pop it. Where you go. Yeah, you but can then call anything. You can call anything, but so can prohibition. And it doesn't just negate it for the turn. Look, you're up against the control player, you activate it, you call Antis, you play. You you call skill dream, you play. Call anything, you play. No, I'm not about it. Um, did we go through the ultras? We're definitely not going through the supers. I kind of um, went straight to Entis, and I was like, why don't you just fucking call Punishment? Yeah. Maybe you wanted that thing to be destroyed. Um, You're preempting a skill drain with that, right? Not a... Yeah, so you activate at the start of your turn, yeah. and you call something, and then you play. It's not a quick play. But if they flip it, they can just use skill drain anyway, right? I'm assuming it Probably. doesn't negate the ones that are on board. No. Yeah, that's all, right. that's all oh. I was just reading through. Um, ultra rares, we have Tomias the United Dragon, Ice Jade, Aegean, close enough, Vampire Ghost, Chaos Nethus, Master of Chaos, Blue Eyes Time Dragon, Dynamorphia, Contragina. Dynamorphia only got one secret, yeah? Yes. Buying that deck. And Catch me playing Dynamorphia. It's the trap that, yeah, the, the heaps of it's just common. Oh, I mean, I want to play that less. <laughs> yeah, like there's not many high rarity cards, but it, it does look like if I was going to play a heavy trap deck that would probably be the one that I play just because it's super funny to get yourself down to like 200 life points and your opponent literally can't kill you if only there was a beautiful golden boy with boots that you could play nah no, fuck that you gotta pose like him though <laughs> <laughs> um reading on we've got DDD Divisor King Deus Machinex uh, Ursartic Radiation, oh. Fluwanduiz and the Advent of hey. Adventure, Dragon Boy, uh, which is a TCG exclusive, uh, Solar Luna, also a TCG exclusive, Libromancer, Doom Broker, and yeah. Libromancer First Appearance. Are the Libromancers TCG exclusives as well? Yes. yes. That's okay. the e -telly deck. The secret yeah. rare is the e -telly target. Yeah, I was going to mention that too. Yeah, yeah. So. That deck actually seems pretty decent. They got a field spell that ritual summons, so field spell that rotors. And then can just non once per turn ritual summon. Yeah, pretty good. Like it's it's a really cool spin on the ritual like, summonings. Like when if you I'm not sure if we want to completely read through the effects because they're on there. Yeah, that's but, fine. Yeah. That's it, a lot of card text to read. From what I can think, I think it's Etelli's whole full combo. Yeah. So you go Etelli into Nerdy Boy. Mm -hmm. Nerdy Boy searches field spell, activate field spell, add ritual monster, yeah. ritual summon. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, it's definitely powerful enough for tier 2 stuff like this if like if this was in Cosmo's place yeah. this does similar stuff it's... Yeah. the only issue I can see with it from the ones that I've read is that there doesn't seem to be a lot of off turn interaction mm -hmm. like the I think like it's a counter got, trap yeah, yeah yeah so yeah they got, have got a trap it's a normal it's trap a it's not a counter trap oh. but it's a um, it's like su it's super searchable like you always end on the trap so it's you always it's a a spin isn't it um it's a negate and then it special summons a Libromancer from your hand or graveyard. Oh, I okay, thought I... destroy or just negate? Uh, negate the activated effect, then special summon. So no destroy. Yeah. So not brilliant, but not terrible. Yeah. But yeah, like I was saying, they, I think they need something that lets them... Ri well, like, there's cards that let you ritual off turn. They're all kind of garbo. But there needs to be something that actually lets them do something more interactive off turn. But, in saying that, from what I can see, I don't think you're locked into Libromancers and, no. like you said, e -telly gets you the whole line, yeah. so you could mix it in with some shit. Yeah, there's definitely stuff you can mix it with to maybe improve that off-turn interaction. It just sucks that, yeah, off-turn interactions are... Pretty, pretty much a staple now. But yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like, needs to be able to, to interact like, off-turn. Yeah. Bring um, back the battle phase. <laughs> Start a battle phase. Dragon Chamber Dragon made a fan. Yeah. Um, so TCG premieres. Um, so I mentioned a couple of them. Uh, we've got Dragon Bite, which seems like a really interesting, um, 
Like, rather than giving this just to B-Troopers, they've just made it a separate card for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so despite being called Dragon Bite and looking very much like a dragon, it is an insect. <laughs> um, attack and defense at 1,000, dark level 4, insect tuner. He's also, yeah, tuner. Yes. Uh, when this card is normal summoned, you can special summon a level 4 or insect from your hand. You can banish one level 4 or lower insect monster from your hand or graveyard, or face up field, then target one monster you control. Increase its level by the level of the banished monster until the end of this turn. So it can set up some pretty cute synchro plays, and with insects like banishing them, sometimes good. So also that like new variant of that deck just plays Halk. So like yeah, like that that's a one yeah, card Halk straight into Halk. It sucks that it has to be a normal summon though. That's the only criticism I have. Yeah, the deck doesn't have that many cards that require it to be a normal summon. Yeah, like, I suppose it's realistically just the uh, the B that adds other Bs. Make a buzz. Buzz buzz. I negate monsters. Oh, you're playing Eldritch? Okay. <laughs> oh, you have a skill drain? That's a three now? Do and like I don't have the one Imperial Order that I had? I'm fucked, aren't I? Do you like jazz? No, we play on Ending Nightmare. Everything's fine. Um, we move on to Flower Dino. Uh, Earth level 4 Dinosaur. Attack 2000, Defense 0. Cannot be normal summon to set. Must be special summoned by its own effect. You can use each of the following effects of Flower Dino once per turn. If you activate a trap card or effect, or your opponent activates a spell card or effect, special summon this card from your hand. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target three banished spells or traps, place them on the bottom of the appropriate decks in any order, then draw one card. This is I don't know knowledge. what deck this is supposed to be for. Trailblitch. It could be for Dynamorphia now that I think about it. Because all their traps banish to protect you from dying. And then send this to graveyard, put them back, draw a card, has its applications, I guess, but it's not brilliant. Um, speaking of not brilliant, rock scales. Um, <laughs> <laughs> attack 21, defense 1800, 1600, sorry. Water, level 5, fish effect monster. If this card is special summoned, you can target one other. Plant. Is this card not a pendulum? It is not a pendulum. It's called rock scales. I know. But the it is neither a rock. It, it is neither a rock or a pendulum. Um, if this card is special summoned, target one other face up card on the field, equip that monster to this card. Um, at the start of the damage step, this card battles an opponent's monster with the same type and attribute as the monster card equipped by this card's effect. You can destroy that opponent's monster. That had nothing to do with rocks or scales. Yep. Unless you equip a pendulum. Um, the Great Double Casted Caster. Uh, level 8 Light dry, uh, Spellcaster Fusion. Um, attack 0, Defense 2600. Two non-effect monsters as a material. Gains attack equal to the combined original attack of any ritual, fusion, synchro, exe, or link monsters used as fusion material for this card. So it's going to have zero <laughs> most of the time. Um, this card can attack directly. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, target one of your non-effect monsters that is banished from your graveyard special summon it. Kind of trash. Uh, but now to my favorite of all the cards. Yeah. Soul and Luna. Quick play spell. Target a monster you control and a monster your opponent controls. Apply the following effects based on each monster's battle position, uh, depending on its battle position. I'm assuming it's just your monster, but anyway. Um, face up, change it to face down. Face down, change it to face up. This is just resolve your alley, isn't it? Maybe. <laughs> Don't fucking judge me, bitch. It's also to flip fucking dragon maids face down so they can't trigger in the battle phase. It's fine, we just summon from tidying at start of battle phase. Nah, fuck you. Um, yeah, so that particular spell and maybe the dragon bite I could see with some play. Beyond that, a little bit underwhelming, which is pretty much par for the course for TCG exclusive cards. That flower dino thing. Yep. That is in, that's an interesting... Because you couldn't really summon it off turn because then that locks you out of... Well, it stuffs up the sanguine... Yeah. Stuff. I like how it says trap and you're just like, oh, Eldritch, how do I use an Eldritch? Well, he said that's I said Eldritch. No, I've done it. said you here. shuffle back your Eldritch stuff. Uh, Draw a card. So, but on that sense, Ooh, it says stuff. if this card is sent to the graveyard. So, is this the best foolish burial target? No, you just discard it with your golden one. Send. Oh, you send your own. How can you send him? He's so cute. No, but like, can you, is Golden Lord just discard Golden Lord and another card? Spell, card. Spell or trap. Oh, that's fucked. Yeah. Fuck Golden Lord. 
Look, there could have been many times my opponent just like you could anything, discard and I tidying. would just be like, that's ah, fine. He can discard tidying and then trigger a dragon maid immediately. You two fucks, you used some golden <laughs> Not golden wood. <laughs> Oh, Ben is so angry. Two golden, golden wood. It's been out for how long and you've just realised what its entire effect is. How many golden wards did you FTK on the on ladder though? Fuck loads. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like, oh, oh, but I wanted to send that. I wanted a turn. I love when people are like, I'm gonna get a turn. No, you're fucking not. Funny wanting to play a turn. Yeah. Yeah, imagine. No, no, no. I am playing Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> You are watching me. It's the Battle City Finals. The fate of the world's on on the shoulders of Yugi. He versus Ben. <laughs> Normal summon. Special summon researcher. Mill five summon Gem Knight. Link two game. Next next Pharaoh. Karibo can't stop that. Karibo can't stop that. He's gonna fucking activate. S- stop thousand eyes though. <laughs> Covers his eyes. Multiply. I hate it. I hate it. Blow up the eyes of you from a thousand eyes. Like, Karibo was a cute little mascot. I love him. And then they made him explode. And then, yeah, for some reason he explodes and he destroys my favourite monster. And it doesn't even make sense. He's a favourite monster. Yeah, it's yeah, say, he, just your favorite he, monster. he negates the favourite monster. This is effectively effect. Chamber of Secrets where the forks come down and just takes out the eyes of the basilisk. He's still there, he's just not doing as much. Kribo's effect Veiler. Kribo is effect Veiler. <laughs> what um, is Kribo effect Veiler? Lastly, just on the Battles of Chaos, we have the imports. So we've got the two normal doll monsters so that the Box of Friends deck can actually work. Oh. Um, yeah, funny that. Oh, oh, we get the Mosquito? Yeah, yeah, we get um, the oh, Smoke mis- Mosquito. The Mosquito's fucking Pog. Yeah, yeah, half the battle damage yeah. summoned and then the battle phase. Yeah. Battle Fader 2. Yeah, Battle Fader that doesn't banish itself for reasons. They got Battle Fader 2 before you got Alistair 2. We've had Alistair 2 for ages, are you kidding? Good point. Wait, wait we've got three Alistairs. Good point. All the Alistairs. Good point. Um, we've also got a bunch of other stuff that it doesn't have the name, um, the effects for, so you're just going to have to look them up if you're curious. We've got uh, Noru Ares the Vernal Dragon. Uh, we've got Gorza, Tyrant of Thunder, which from what I can remember is Dark World support of some sort. Um, another Box of Friends card, Dull Happiness. And Smile Potion. Yeah. Which I think is like some fucky life point card. Actually, I can read this one. If your opponent controls an attack position monster whose current attack is higher than its original attack, while you control no monsters, draw two cards. Fire Fist support. No, no, anti-Fire Fist support. That's good. Right now. Oh, good. That's Wait, who still has tanky? Oh, you could have... Oh, in Zoo as well. You're one ulti tanky. What's <laughs> oh. <laughs> a stake that makes stuff bigger? Golden wood? Comes back bigger? Or two? Yeah. Cherubini? Cherubini effect? Draw two. Mm. Yeah, this is just your YCS, like... Exodia deck that you had to run because someone stole your Paleos. Someone took my ABC. ABC, sorry. They were like, I'm going to play the event. And I was like, I'm not going to play the event. And I go, like, can I use your ABC? And I was like, yeah, no problem. And then, like, day of the event, I was like, I'm going to fucking YCS. Yes. <laughs> I show up and I'm like, oh yeah, I don't have a deck to play. Guess I play Exodia. It was so impractical for you too because you were on crutches at the, that oh, point yeah, as well, fucked. trying and to then, like, move through a, a literal crowd of twelve hundred. I go to YCS Rego and they're like, "Well, you need a specific chair, like a specific table for your disability." And I was like, "Yes, <laughs> that is a possibility. Yes, thank you very much." And then they're like, "I was gonna say, I don't think you got one because no, you definitely I left did. that table." <laughs> I did. They were like, "Table fourteen to start," and I was like, in the middle of the fucking crowd, and I was like, "This is fucked." I was waiting for everyone to sit down and it was like, my turn. Uh, this is where I met Ben, by the way, at YCS when he was playing Trap Exodia and I was playing Mermel OTK. Yeah. I flipped Wobbacool. That was ones. my first YCS. Oh. I was going to say, to anyone who just started breaking their legs to get like, better tables at YCS, I hope you didn't get too far before we finished. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Logan's Wait tried multiple I times. Wait until I finish the discussion. Because so, yeah. you don't get better table at a YCS. They yep. don't just put you on table one and go, we'll just keep here. Oh, so 
I think the true disability is that you had to play Exodia fucking trap deck at once, yes. I, I went, like, 4-4. Four, four. You were doing reasonable, like, because when we saw each other, like, I think we were fairly high up the tables. Like, I think I we are in the top 100 tables. Yeah, it was, like, round 4, and we were each 2-1. Each yeah, and, like, just after this, by the way, I versed a 6 hand player who had no business being up on the tables that he was. You would have I been 3-1 at that round as well. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, how are you X1? This is garbage. This is literal dog water. <laughs> it's so bad. They couldn't even FTK at that point. No, they couldn't. They couldn't do shit. It's like, aha, you can only activate one spell and trap, and I have a spell and trap negator. It's like, yes, I can only activate one, so by all means, negate it. I'll do it again. <laughs> That deck is no... It makes no sense to me. It's fucking dumb. And also, I was playing Mermelo 2K, so I didn't care about any of my spells. Negate what you like. (laughs) Uh, Moving on to comments. Um, So, for those (laughs) that don't know, we have a Discord, as well as obviously the YouTube and things, so feel free to comment on the videos that you see, jump into our Discord, ask us questions, all that kind of stuff. We love answering questions and hearing from you. Um, in the Discord, Paul Pelican asked, Would you be mad if I make Drytrons good again without Eva? No, because I'd love to see them get hit on a ban list for the fourth time in a row. <laughs> Every list they've been hit. Oh, yeah. Why Union not? Carrier, Eva to two, uh, Eva to one, Ben, 10, ben to, 10 one. to one, Eva goes to zero. Yeah. All hits. Were Ben and Eva in the same list, though? separate were they Ben 10 was the first five lists in a row fuck it well I think they went you can carry a Ben 10 at the same time maybe but yeah I'd love to see Drytron hit again so by all means Paul fucking go off um, I don't know why I've like I don't overly hate that deck like a Droplets more than solves that problem most of the time and a yeah. Dark Ruler no more beyond solves that problem like Dark Ruler fucks them, and now they don't have Imperial Order, they've got nothing. But now they can Scythe Lock. Now they're just like, what if we just Scythe Lock? Like, every other deck in the format that puts six monsters on board, they're like, what about a Scythe Lock? Scythe has got to go. Um, on YouTube, we have Space Cadets, I think. Yeah. 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 I don't know why I spelled it like that, but anyway. Welcome to the comment section. <laughs> Uh, the Pendulum cards can probably come off from being banned, unlimited or limited, except Electromite. I guess. I mean, it was right. Yeah, Konami seems to agree. Except for just monkey Draco board. Face Off, Face Off, Monkey Board. Um, Draco Face Off's at one. Yeah, but that can come to three. Who cares? True. Um, I suppose there's another card in there that needs to come back. Ptolemyus. <laughs> God got banned for being in that in that deck, but that deck. Don't yeah, do don't, I don't think it really matters if someone summons a CDI off turn anymore, does it? Nope. Can they summon anything else, or do they literally have to go? Oh, they summon the CDI on turn. Yeah, there was. I think they could have. We're not. We're not talking bloody. Yeah, it's not that quick. <laughs> yeah, we're not talking what bloody. I swear, uh... Tolomites can activate off turn. I don't know. Doesn't matter. I'm well, looking it up now because I want to be right. No, but Good. we're not like. There was once a time that CDI came out on your turn, <laughs> not once per anyone... chain during either player's turn. Okay. Detach three materials. Special. That is one rank higher than this card. Yeah, there's literally, like, it's, it's literally you go into... Hmm? Yeah, it's rank 4. So it's literally, because you go into Nova, don't you? What? CDI is a 6? Oh yeah, CDI is a 6. So you, have, you go into Nova on yeah. your turn, and then you make CDI. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, it has a second effect. We've gone to Azathoth. You can detach 7 Xyz materials from this card, skip your opponent's next turn. <laughs> Why is okay? So that's why that's it's not coming back because gossip banned, shadows. Yeah, because they can bamboozling skip a turn. That okay? But Ptolemyus can stay <laughs> banned. Stay banned. <laughs> that's actually, known that's as a good point. Yeah, we've we'll never really thought that about would this. just be Rongo Bongo again. So okay, so there's been a lot of people saying that Ptolemyus can come back. No, Clearly, uh, no one's read no past one read, that first no effect. No one read the second effect. <laughs> no one went. Hold on, this is just make Rongo we really to, fucking we broken have to again. Ban bamboozling then. Yeah, which. It should be anyway. Ben Fuck Boozling that card. Legitimately facilitates like four FTKs that is not consistent enough. Yeah, like the Ghost Trick FTK has been live, just not yep. very good for a long time. There's probably the some other fucking shit. Uh, yeah, and it kind of does get around that. Like the balancing of detaching is definitely a, a consideration in that fucking like, the design of all the cards, and so Gossip Shadow. 
Which, funnily enough, is, since it's next year, you should be mindful of that. Brain gone. At the end of the day, <laughs> bamboozling bad. Bamboozling it should have been banned bad. a long time ago. Like, and it's don't annoying. get me wrong, this is not an excuse to say the VFD could have stayed. That card needs to fuck off as well. Um, but anyway, yeah. So pendulum cards come can come back. I doubt they'll really bring back Electromite at this point because now they've got Beyond the Pendulum coming out. That's more of a sales thing for them. And if like, why would you go for like the retrain that's slightly worse as opposed to the one that's much much better? I don't see them bringing Electromite back ever at this point. Yeah, I don't think so either. If it didn't come back when Metal Flow's got support, it's not coming back. As opposed to the other comments, which were reply from a team member saying Electromite can totally come back. Yeah, there's no bias at all in that at all. Nope. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Uh, Loza commented, Facts Marju dead for some reason. Anaconda and Dragoon untouched and new support round the corner. DM de- best deck. Does get pretty damn good. It just becomes consistent. That's not us. That's going to come through, isn't it? No, it won't come through. No one probably knows a single thing that we're talking about right now. There's definitely not an alarm going on. There's nothing going off. I know what you're talking about. (laughs) (laughs) It's my brain trying to find that lost thought. I'll get back to that XC rant eventually. (laughs) Alarm going off. I was on the gold. (laughs) (laughs) You were sounding very articulate and then it just dropped off and you're like, bamboo's link back. (laughs) It just disappeared. Funny. Jokes. Golden Lord. Uh, and then Loza also commented, uh, we should do a race to hit plat one when the season resets on Marstall. In which case, we're already behind because it just reset. I don't have time, man. I don't either. Like, actually, that's a lie. I spent a lot of my time when it first came out doing the solo mode because I had a lot of fun on that. But now I've literally finished it and I've got nothing else to do. I only have like three nights a week to actually be able to do stuff. I All I've been doing the last couple of days, because I've not had a huge amount of time to play, is I just log in, get my daily bonus, and then shut it. Yeah. I haven't logged in, like, since I hit shit, flat one. Shit, shit. Oh, like, I've been doing that, and I'm pretty sure we've just ticked over 3 a.m. No, so. um, well, if it is in fact 3 a.m., then you've missed it. However, if it's 12 o'clock for some reason, it doesn't reset at 12. I've got to quickly do something after this, though. Yes. Um, well, I just as that, well. I need those 50 gems. <laughs> Um, well just as well because we have reached the end of tonight's episode uh, thank you very much for watching as I said there will be a link in the description for our discord jump in uh, comment let us know what you think of Battles of Chaos whether you think the cards are going to be good and change the meta or whether it will just be skill drain turbo um, otherwise thank you both and good night. bye